Uh, the four minutes. You are a child. The one record of four minutes, you twelve. Four first, you know fastest sex haver. Well, that was a lot longer than four minutes. Well, 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 well. Like this is. This is the reason we do these things, right? This is the best thing ever in the world that someone goes through a video game to have sex. You know, this is, this is one of those things where I just sit there and I laugh at this game that has come out where everyone is speed running to have sex now. It's an amazing idea. It really is an amazing idea. You know, adolescents, teenagers, Young adults, you, you got a video game to please you now, and that's where we are. That's where Baldur's Gate 3 has really fallen. That's where they've dropped the apple off the tree. Just to, just to have a little bit of fun, I guess. I don't know where this really goes, but this is, this is absolute absurdity at this point for this video game. Now, this is a Baldur's Gate video, but we're gonna talk about Disguised Toast as well. He's a big name when it comes to YouTube and Twitch, uh, and it's no surprise that out of all the people out there, that Disguised Toast finds a way to exploit the game or to find a very quick way to go through the game and get the fastest sex record in the history of Baldur's Gate, the world record at sex. Right, and he also holds uh, a bunch of other titles when it comes to Hearthstone or Among Us, and just playing with some of the big names out there on Twitch and YouTube, like Valkyrie and Pokimane, PewDiePie, Jacksepticeye, many, many, many other players out there. And so I'm not really surprised that you would see such a big streamer, a big name, uh, being able to beat this world record. Now this is Baldur's Gate 3. This is the game where when I've seen it come out and all I've seen is people wanting to have sex in this game. I don't ever see gameplay. I never really see gameplay footage of this game. I see people open barn doors and, and like a big beast having sex with a, a burly a giant goblin creature. I don't even know what it was because... It was one of those scenes going, ah, uh, that's why I'm not playing this game. Um, there's a lot of sexual innuendos in Baldur's Gate 3, which is fine. It's a rated 18 plus. It's not really a game that feels like you should be able to stream this. Apparently there's a safe streaming mode, but I don't know. I don't know. These types of things, it just doesn't seem the normal when it comes to making content, when it comes to playing a video game and making content, especially when they program in there that you can take a, a bear and a morph down. As, as a druid, you can become a bear that has sex with a, a vampire. Like, it's absurdity. A lot of people say it's a joke, but this is a AAA game that is now being rated as one of the best games out there on the market. And a lot of people are, are, are saying this is setting the bar for new games. So if this is setting the bar for new games, where are these new games going to go? Are they, are, is the new Starfield game that's coming out, do they have to program sex in there? How you can have a sex speed run in these games? Is that where we're going with gaming? If that's the case, let's all go back to the bar and have a good time. Like, let, let's do something that's uh, that's fun and actually social and not so much getting stuck in front of a video game. You know, video games are one of the pastimes that I absolutely love and enjoy, but when it starts to skirt this line where it's becoming a uh, replacement for what you're doing in the real life and and, now you have a video game that you have to sit there and, and do these sex speed runs on. It, it, it's absurdity at its finest. I mean, don't get me wrong. This is, this is absolutely hilarious. The memes out of this is legendary at this point. But now this is where the conflict comes into play. You have a AAA game. A, a, a game, well, it's not even considered AAA because it released on Steam. It was an early access game on Steam. They now are seeing numbers upwards close to Hogwarts Legacy in like the 800,000 people playing it at once. Is this game going to fall off? No, people are just going to play it for the meme. That's all people are going to do now. And that's 
that's fine if you enjoy that thing and it, it's going to be one of those. And what I have up here now on the screen is the world records for having sex in the game. And Disguise to has been dethroned. His three minutes and 59 seconds is now a two minute and 16 seconds known by the player of Mai. And then here's individual 96 and Co9, KO9. Like, this is where we are now. This is it. And a Canadian actually holds this record. Two minutes and 16 seconds to have sex in Baldur's Gate 3. Wow. I mean, some nights that, uh, you know, when I go to bed, I, I it, it takes me a lot longer to go to bed. So... I just don't get it. Well, and even IGN is now in the th throw of things. They're throwing down in the bed sheets. They're making the romance happen. Baldur's Gate 3 speedrunners are now rushing to have sex. A Baldur's Gate speedrunner who completed the game in just under 10 minutes. They complete, they've been able to beat this game in 10 minutes. Uh, also, I heard Matt Mercer beat like one big castle by stacking a ton of crates and just by exploiting getting through it well, that's kind of neat to hear about um but 10 minutes has turned into a new attention the more pressing matters having sex oh my oh my well that's the game now that's baldur's gate 3 no one's going to remember it for the epic storytelling or anything like that they're now going to remember it it's the game that you can have sex in it's the game that you speed run to have sex in it's the best thing ever when you sit there and you're able to get it on in two minutes time that's where the game is gone now that's the meme that's the storytelling is that the story lorang games really wanted i don't even know if i say that right i always say it wrong really this is the game this is what Baldur's gate 3 will be remembered by this is what DD &D is all about is thirsty teenagers trying to have sex trying to speed run to have sex in it's not about going out there in a dungeon it's not crawling deep in skeletons and snakes and trying to defeat the evils in the world or or become the evil bad guy no no it's about being thirsty and about having sex and isn't that what life is about isn't that where we are now that's Baldur's Gate 3 in a nutshell. Hope you guys enjoy it. I told you, I tried to warn everyone that this game is nothing but going to be a bloodbath of sex. Thanks for watching. Have yourselves a great day. I'm your Proud Game Phoenix Cinder Shadow, signing off here.